Hello, 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 and welcome to hashtag Gaw TV. Oh, yes, your right. ladies are here. Grown Ass Women TV every Wednesday at 5 p.m. on YouTube. That's Eastern, by the way. Now I'm all the way in the U-Kizzle. Uh, so glad to see you guys here. Hi, ladies. Oh, hello. hello. You look gorgeous. You look oh, gorgeous. Glasses. I can't wait to hear all about them. We will oh, get yeah. to that. Yes, oh. I'm feeling very retro. But welcome, guys. Do us a flave. If you're new here, please be reminded that we are here live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but if you're watching on replay, thank you for being here as well. But please try to join us in the live TV uh, chat room, the live God TV chat room, rather. I haven't even started drinking and I'm already slurring. Uh, well, hey, that's the kind of show we, we run here at God TV. But let's be honest. What we need you to do are just a few favors for us, if you'd be so right. kind. First of all, get those thumbs out. Like this video. Both of them. Likey, likey, yes, please. And uh, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel to be a part of Team Gaw. And last but not least, ring that bell. Oh, you can ring my bell. Ring, ring my bell. bell. And you should ring that bell because what it does here on YouTube is it enables notifications. So that way you never miss an episode of Gaw TV. It reminds you that we're going to be live on Wednesdays here on YouTube. So please do us those three favors and we'll love you for it, won't we, ladies? We Gosh. really will love you for it. We yeah, really we will. will. I appreciate that. I'm really excited about our guest today. I cannot, cannot wait. Um, but also I want to give a shout out to our Patreon members, our Patreon subscribers who we do shout outs to. We do all kinds of fun things. And I've been thinking about it, ladies, because I know that you two have given amazing, amazing gifts the last two months for our top tier gorgeous members. Mm -hmm. That's my beard. That's my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> um, gorgeous that so I was thinking, I was like, oh God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I've decided I am giving to all of our top tier because it's Virgo season. You guys know I just had a birthday. A la yeah. Yes. yes. It's yep. Virgo yep. season. You're in my season. And uh, it, is, it is a season of giving. You know, mm. I know it's not Thanksgiving, but it's mixed given, if you will. You know? Mix given. So I'm going to do a Zoom call with all of our gorgeous members. Get the hell out. No, oh, way. No, 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 and not no, like a Zoom call with all of them at the same time. I'm going to call, I'll call you each, each of you by yourselves exclusively one on one. So how about oh, that? Way to that. top us out. Way, way to top us out. With me. Come chat with me. But you got to be gorgeous to do it. So upgrade if you are not upgraded. Um, and we will schedule a day. It'll probably be the 1st of October-ish mm -hmm. once the month is done. And we yes. are going to chat about all the Halloween-y things because I'm excited Ooh. about oh, that. Oh, God, I forgot. Halloween is already here, you guys. Yeah. Well, it'll be coming up. Yeah, I can't get to Halloween yet because first I have to get to Donovan's birthday, which I'm already excited about. And um, already he already he wants to go to the train museum and have it in the thing. And I contacted oh. him and the ballroom is booked already for his day of birth, oh. but he could have a birthday party on the train in the train car. So, oh, oh how cool. God, that is so cool. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And when and you do your live ahead. chats, Mickey, um, make sure you do um like photos and tell the um you know the top tier members to wear their uh God TV merch, you know, their pillows, their, oh. their cup, which you can get at the Teespring store, which yeah. is the link is down below. Right there. It's right there. And you I can just, also like just not see us. You can listen to us, the whole mm -hmm. unedited version. Uh-huh. On your on yeah. Do you have your info? Thank you. I, it's a mess on my wow. desk. Guys. Look at those beats. Get, mm, 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 mm. get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get, get it, girl. Oh, yeah. Go on, Cass. Big shout out to Ella, a wrestling uh, gal, for uh, converting it to podcast form so you can listen to us all day long. All day. All day. Or all day. Day. Imagine having th these three voices in your ears at all times. That's like some cool. I don't know, motivational speaking, nonsensical. I love it. Why not? Yeah. You're welcome. And, and you better well. have both both hands on your steering wheel too if you're listening to in the car because yeah. you'll you'll be you'll be popping left and right. Yeah. Yeah. Or well, on the elliptical, make sure you have both hands on those guys. Yeah. You know. Good advice. Yeah. I'm blown up already. But you guys, 
Who's our next guest? Mickey, introduce our next guest. How drop dead gorgeous this woman is. Well, I just got to see this lovely lady while we were in Dallas after my big announcement. And um, I said to her, I was like, are you kidding? Like, she looks, I won't even say the same. She looks better than she ever has. And she's amazing. Obviously, lots of people know her from WWE, from being a diva. But she's also our friend, a gorgeous friend, if you will, Miss Crystal Marshall. Woo! Yes. 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 Woo! Gosh. Good morning. Ladies, Crystal, how amazing you look when I just saw you in Dallas. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by the show um, and just hanging out with us for a little bit because it was a special weekend for me and I was just so happy to see you. But you look, I don't even want to say the same because I feel like you look even better than ever like you're like legit glowing and i can feel it in your soul i can see it shining through and it's just amazing it's amazing thank you thank you i could say the same for you for sure you look i hate to say this but way better and i think it has less to do with how we look but where we are in our lives you know yeah 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 for sure so great and i have to say i love when you get the assignment when everyone you know we try to tell them hey it's the ultimate slumber party You've got the PJs, you've got the cocktail, you've got the lounge setting. So bravo, first of all, for that. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to yeah. that. When I, asked, when I asked show. Crystal, when I asked Crystal Val and Mickey, I asked her, it's like she wants to be on the show. I go, you know, we just drink wine, we just shoot the shit. It's not all about wrestling and, and stuff like mm. that. She goes, sign me up. Sign <laughs> me up. Yeah. For real. You know, it was so nice uh seeing Mickey this past weekend and like it's so weird because I feel like when I left the business, I left. Like I exit stage left. I did not even look back. I didn't really do a good job of even keeping in touch with people. And like I think for a long time, I kind of carried some guilt about that. Oh. Um, but it's like it's this weird thing. It's like when you get a little bit older, you know, you accept yourself. Like you know what? This is who I am. These are my life experiences. I'm proud of myself, and that's okay if I don't have like a normal pass is like the other mom and car pickup loop whatever you know so it was like full circle so good to see everybody but at the same time it's kind of like this is me too you know like this is it's good it felt good so very happy to see everybody and good to see you lisa and val you know we never really got the chance to work together but i know i know know. and i was telling the girls i'm like my experiences you know we're we're always so positive i just remember being just so in awe of your beauty too and i was like wow this girl's gorgeous and she's really gorgeous and nice and sweet so like that's the total package and i want to get back to the to the impact stuff in a moment we'll circle back to that because i love the photo that you got photos that you guys took but question for me it's our favorite part of the show we want to start out on a fun silly note we want to know we'll ask you first as our guest of honor and then we'll go around who are you wearing? And what are you drinking tonight, girl? <laughs> well, I, I'm wearing this little uh, Texas Longhorn colored um, pajama set that I got from Forever 21 because, you know, because we're yeah. always 21. Sure. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I got this this weekend and I was thinking, you know, what would be good for the girls in the show? And I found this I love number. it. Are you a <laughs> Longhorns fan or are you a Longhorns yeah. fan now by proxy because you live there? Maybe totally, ah, totally okay. by proxy. So I okay. saw that I, was, I represent my new state. So yep. yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, the and nail color too. Yeah, and I thought you were gonna say I went to Forever Twenty One because I'm super frugal like us. What you drinking? Well, though? We didn't girl. ask what you're. Fr- yeah, girl. Mm. So let me tell you something. <laughs> So my, one of my best friends got me these glasses because she had them at her house and I was obsessed with them. And they're really not for wine, but you know, who cares? You know, like, who cares? So this is some Kim Crawford, that $15.99 special, one of my faves. Yeah. It's a uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Yes. Um, oh. And you and Val both. Love I love that too. Crawford. I spent a lot of time with Kim. We've had some arguments, but we're we're okay now. <laughs> I love that one. I look for it on menus. It's a very, very nice Sauvignon Blanc. Very crisp. Yeah. Yes, lots of grapefruit notes. Very good. <laughs> yes. So sophisticated. Yeah. Love that. Mickey, <laughs> I noticed that you had a shirt on that I'm assuming maybe was, uh, what is it? Uh, he has, goes by so many names. Dr- uh, Drew Luke Gallows would be very well, proud of this t-shirt. I just, it is, it is a, it is a good brother's merch shirt because you, as you know, I am a good sister. You are, and Chad Allegra. I am. 
So you can get this. I, I don't get any any profits off of the sale of this t-shirt. They get all the money as they do. Um, but I did I did get one and I love it. And I love that it has a instead of a beer, a wine bottle spilling. Yeah. Oh. I just noticed that. Brilliant. <laughs> you and as you can tell, because my voice sounds like an angel, like a little angel singing to the to the heavens right now. Um, I'm actually drinking. Uh, I made myself a hotty toddy Ooh. with um, a English tea and a CBD tea, Ooh. A, some lemon. And of course, you can't have a hotty toddy without a little. And it went with the makers because the makers, it reminds me of the Louisville. Oh. You know, yeah, so, so yeah. A bit I have not drinking all this. No, that is not me. I only poured a shot in there. This was already open. Uh huh. Not uh -huh. that you're judging. Girl, you're coming off not of your birthday. We don't want to hear that mess. If you drank that whole bottle, you deserve it. Da, 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 da. You, deserve <laughs> you deserve it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I promise you, no one wants me to drink this much whiskey. I promise you that because I won't have any friends. I won't have, nobody will talk to me for probably, I don't know. They'll be fighting, Not fighting everybody. Friends, but just, you know, strangers, strangers yeah. will never talk to me again. Mm. Yeah. That's fair. And I still like to this day, the good sister shirt. I still, as like, I, every time I see him, I go Festus. He goes, Man, you're the only one who still calls me Festus. And I go, I can't help it. He probably a lot of names. Oh I don't even know how to say his name. I was like, Drew, Luke. Yeah. Uh, and, and I just said Chad Allegra. Uh, yeah. Carl Anderson. He has so many names. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Hot Carl. Hot Carl. And, uh, you know, of course I do Good Brothers, but I do Hot Carl because he comes in hot. Mm -hmm. um, he's always getting heat, you know, a little heater. Yeah. And uh, Good Brother and Drewski, I call him. Yeah. And I don't think that I call him Luke and I certainly don't call him. Uh, I'll call him Gallows, but yeah. not uh, Festus. I don't call him Festus. That's kicking it old school, Lisa. Ooh, I know. Yeah. That was my generation. Yeah. But then yeah. do you ring the bell? After <laughs> you do it? Uh, sweet little face. <laughs> this poor guy. I know. What a terrible gimmick. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. pretty damn well for himself after i'll go quickly because mine i'm also on the wine miss crystal i have um <laughs> this sounds a bit weird i had a baby uh jose rose uh that i bought on the train <laughs> oh. it's literally called my lighting it's called jose rose and it's my uh uk <laughs> train wine of choice because i'm classy and i like a little locomotive environment <laughs> you know personally uh <laughs> it's uh, it's adorable Very i hope that's not all you have that's not all you have you just got oh, that girl. little baby you're kidding. Oh, okay. You're adorable. Okay. <laughs> I love you, but you're adorable. No, I, I came to play tonight. Um, and I'm just wearing, actually, I don't know, I, I picked this white, uh, it's actually like a beach cover-up, but I loved it. I got it for Tenerife on Amazon.co.uk. Thank you. And I just started getting more 60s with it. I put like a little headband on, my vintage um, 60s uh, ring. Oh, very yeah. Baby. I love that. Uh -huh. Yeah. I love it. I love the glasses. Yeah, oh, the glasses. Yeah. These were, I don't even know. Honestly, people, I wear a lot of crazy kooky glasses. Um, very often, fun tip, Crystal, if you ever not want to wear makeup, which <laughs> you don't need to, hello. Uh, and you just want to be like, it's like a 6 a.m. flight. You throw some glasses on and a red lip, you're done. People think well, you're made up. You, I'm blind as a bat. I don't know if you guys know that. Like, I can't see for shit. Same. I wear contacts. I wear glasses, like, religiously. So I'm going to put you on the best place to get weird, cheap glasses, prescription or not. Yes. There's a website and I'm not sponsored, but it's called Firmo. So it's F-I-R-M-O-O.com. They have the, that to me. the kookiest, craziest glasses, and they're dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. I've got some fun cat eye ones. Right. I've got some big, like, chunkin' ones. They've got, like, everything, and they're super fun, super cheap, and if you lose them, you don't feel bad. Right. You can get all stuff. And it's Did you discover them on Facebook? Crystal, did, were they on Facebook? Because I follow a lot of some, the, the glasses, like the so, readers. I don't know. I used to do Warby Parker, but I've realized that through the years, they've gotten real bougie with their price point. Oh. So I need something that's even cheaper. So one of my clients actually came up with some super cute glasses, and I asked her where they were from, and she was like, well, these are really cheap. I was like, perfect. You know, like, send it over. But they're, yeah. they've got funky, fun pairs. And here's a fun tip, and I hate to say this, but if for some reason the glasses come and you don't like them, they will give you a full refund. You get to keep those glasses and order something else. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. Hello, customer service. Oh, and my every God. Every pair of glasses that people will comment on, I'm like, they're never the ones that I've spent more than like 10 or 20 bucks on ever. They're oh, like, totally. they're just from a kiosk or from like a silly store. Or, yeah. So, oh, I love yeah. that. So do they do the prescription? Because I wear glasses. Yes. I just picked up my new glasses today because I wanted another backup pair. But um, they do the prescription in them as well? Yeah. And or if you check the website, you can get two pairs of complete glasses and with the lenses, with the thickness of the lens, the blue light, I think I got two pairs for $135. Shut and up. There, I, I will send you what I have. Oh, so what, tell us about your OnlyFans. You have OnlyFans. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I hope you know, just just to preface this, I hope you know that I have an OnlyFans. Same with you. I don't do, and I don't judge people that do nudity. I don't do nudity in mine, but I love a sexy photo shoot. And we have talked to so many people that, we think uh, everyone agrees that it's a great um, empowering kind of way to, you know, further your brand and, and, and chat with your fans and things like that. So we'd love to hear about it because we're, we're pro only fans here. Yes, absolutely. I feel like, you know, for so long, so many women have been posting, you know, sexy pictures on Instagram or what have you. And I'm like, well, you know, why would I give that away for free? I can totally monopolize off of this. Monopolize off of it. It frees up more time for my family. Win-win. I get to control right. the content. I get to control the narrative. It's perfect. It's my choice. And people ask, well, why don't you, do you not post news because you're fit? No, I don't post news because I don't want to. Because I don't feel like it's necessary. That's it. Um, right. yeah. And that's it. And that's the only justification I ever give. The yeah. feedback that I've received so far has been nothing but positive. You know, I have women that you know i've done here for 15 years i'm a hair colorist and gosh you guys have the best hair color but anyway um so yeah i've done here for a long time i have clients message me and they're like well you know tell me more about this this is really cool like i think it's it is what you make it you can do it forever how long however long you want or not you know it's 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 great that people have that platform and you can make it what you will i post some cooking videos on there believe it or not because i figured most of the people that follow me on there are men Right. Probably men and they probably want quick recipes too so every now and then I throw up a quick little recipe oh I love that so my intent with what I want to do with it is yes there are sexy bikini pictures yes there are sexy lingerie pictures but I want to add a little something for everybody so hopefully the next few months I'll throw up different tutorials different things and kind of just play with it a little bit but it's, but it's also been- too your 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 bikini shots are just because you work out and you post pictures of your your workout so you try to inspire people to be you know we're older like it's it's you, yeah. you, still have, you can have a banging body yeah you yeah. can like i just i just i hate when society puts restrictions on people right. you know i'll be 40 years old next year i have two kids i've had a c-section you know i've had money i've not had money there's ways around that. Fitness is a lifestyle, you know, and I'll be very frank with you. I don't have time all the time to go to the gym. I don't. I have 15 pound dumbbells in my living room. Sometimes I'll do some deadlifts. Sometimes I'll do some squats, walk my dog, whatever. You know, there are other options out there and I just want to make it um, more human, you know, because I mean, you can go through anyone's Instagram and they're in the gym in a cute two piece set. Well, I'm here in my dirty sweats and I'm doing some uh, deadlifts in between scrubbing my toilet. You know, that's real life. So right. um, I think people need to see that too. That's what yeah. I like about well, it, too, kind of the, behind the curtain a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think it's smart because I've always said, like, I think, think personally, like social media, we give away so much. And I go, you got to, we give it, people give away so much for free. They're doing the same shoots on Instagram. And you know who yeah. owns those pictures? Instagram.com owns those pictures. Mm-hmm. That's yep. who owns them. So why not? put those like you don't have to you know why would not put it behind a paywall where because your true fans are going that want to see those bikini pictures lingerie pictures but also want to see you in your authentic self and sharing fitness tips or sharing hairstyling tips or you know all the things like the cooking tips like they want to know those too because they want to support crystal you know like that's just it and so yeah yeah when I left wrestling, I, I really straight away, and I feel like in some ways I missed that window of capitalizing off that freshness from coming out of the company. And I feel like now I'm like, you know what? Like I can still create an avenue for myself. You know, there's still, there's always an opening. There's always a possibility to create something that's genuine to yourself and that's yours. And I feel like that's where I'm at right now. Like 
I just am like, you know what? I don't care what anybody thinks. Yeah. I don't right. care. I don't care anymore. I, I see a hair. I, I, I see her. I, I see a hair product for like um, healthy hair and hair growth and stuff like that. And um, hair stuff for you. You do hair for a living. Like, why don't you have your own product? Totally. I would, buy, I would buy, buy Crystal Marshall um, hair product in yeah. a heartbeat. And everyone has their own strengths and their own skill sets and things like that. But yeah. I think you've just hit the nail on the head so many times with, like you said, um, we said it many times on here. It's no one's controlling what you do. You control your brand. You control your own, your own narrative. If you are with a company like WWE, which is great, and you're with a big company that's, you know, there are restrictions in the sense that you don't own a lot of your content. Maybe yes. they have to approve everything that you're shooting or whatever. But with OnlyFans, it's literally, it's your little empire. And like you said, if you feel comfortable to do nudity, fine. If you don't, fine. And none of us should be judging anyone else. But, you know, if you're going to be a Crystal Marshall supporter, which, of course, you should be, and down in the description, by the way, we're posting all the links to join OnlyFans. Uh, but, you know, if, if they know your brand, they know that you're going to be upfront saying, this is what I do. These are the shoots that you'll get. You're also going to get some cool inspirational, um, you know, posts and some fun recipes. And that's your particular brand that nobody else has but you. And that's really exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Wonderful. And we and love you. We're say, so proud of you too. Yes. Oh, Sorry, so go ahead. but mom and okay, Mickey, go ahead, Mickey. I no, cut you off. I was just going to say, good. I don't, cause you've said it twice now. And I was like, Oh, uh, I don't think that you should feel bad from when you walked away from wrestling of like just shutting that door. I think that I consider art the it's like a relationship, you know, and it's a very it's not an easy relationship to be in. And it's right. it's a lot. It's a lot. And sometimes I think that it's true when people walk away from companies or whatever. Sometimes you have to disconnect yeah. Just because you have so much healing and learning to do on you. And while you're still like hanging on this thread of like this long lost love or whatever, it's hard to do that. So do not feel bad no. for, for doing that to reset. And look at how much you thrived. I mean, you have a beautiful family and beautiful kids. You're freaking amazing at what you do for your career yeah. with hair, but also with OnlyFans and you look amazing and you are glow. Like I can just see your happiness pouring through, but I think now it's okay. And you feel in a safer space yeah. to kind of dabble back in and talk to people. But I think I've, you know, when I've walked away from WWE the first time, I didn't really, t there was probably three or four people that I still spoke to there. And I was, re you're really friends with those people while yeah. you're there. And then all of a sudden they don't talk to you anymore because you're they're gone or they're, they're busy and then life moves on. The wheel keeps going, but don't, do yeah. not feel bad about that because that's what you needed. Yeah. You and know? But on your own terms. How cool is that? It is. It is. But I didn't feel bad because I left the company. What I felt bad about is that I disconnected from the people that supported me through those years, the fans. I really right. like, that's the part that I feel bad about, you know? And so now when I get messages on like Instagram or Facebook, Oh my gosh, you are my favorite. I loved you. I watched you. You're a big inspiration, you know, especially from like the LGBTQ community. Like I have, I've realized that I have a lot of fans from that community that I have inspired to right. get into business for whatever the reasons may be. And like, I don't feel guilty about walking away from the company. I feel right. bad for disconnecting that, that, um, uh. that communication for right. not being available for that, you know, I get it. So, I get it. you know so, what, yeah. but here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Here, look at us. And again, I literally life. just wrote that. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a nerd, but I write little notes sometimes because I want to make sure that sometimes what we're conveying in our descriptions is like what encompasses the whole episode. I literally wrote on your own terms because that's what it sounds mm -hmm. like. It's like you have done things as you're comfortable and you're writing your own story. And the story after wrestling doesn't mean that it's any less important than when you're in wrestling. And what's funny right. for me, like, for example, you just said you kind of went away from it. I did kind of wonder like, oh, I don't know why she doesn't do signings, things like that. Because what's funny is, um, and it's sort of a lesson to me to kind of go like, it, you have to understand everyone has their own stuff. Because after wrestling, or you don't know, say you're with a big company or whatever, some people just go right on to indie work. Some people just go right on to another company. Other people I've gone, you know, gosh, I haven't seen it. And just for my own selfish reasons, I would love to see them. I haven't seen them in a while. And you talk to especially other women. I'm such a girl's girl. Some people are like, I couldn't face it. Or some people said it was bad for my mental health. Other people have said my partner, husband, whatever, boyfriend wasn't cool with it. And then I, you know, everyone has their reasons. And not every reason that you weren't doing immediate signings after or immediately staying in wrestling 
doesn't mean that, and fans don't get this. So I hope there's a little bit of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Insight? Niceness and kindness. Yeah. And acceptance oh. that just because someone mm -hmm. is in wrestling and then they take a little break, you have no idea what's going on. Doesn't mean anything tragic has happened. Maybe they just totally. go, listen, that's a part of my life. I just need to have a little break. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. 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 Totally. It's like, I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh, like, nothing at all. I think it was Super Alex Nella that just said on Twitter, he was like, yeah, it's so weird that when you're not in like a big company, fans just go, oh, you've like fallen on the face of the earth and you must not be doing well. And it's like, well, actually, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. You're like, you know what? I'm living real life. I'm an, I apologize. Yeah, I'm an adult. I can, you know what? Adulting sucks sometimes, but you know, I'm, I'm trucking along. Like, yeah. don't feel sorry for me. I'm still, I'm still living my life. Out yeah. here living, thriving. Yeah. yeah. Thriving. I think they just think, oh, that person is, and I'm not sorry to be this blunt, but they go, that person is no longer on my WWE TV that I watch 24 seven. So they must just be, destitute Dead. and just done with life they died <laughs> they died she did nick Alders has said that on twitter before too mickey he's talked about like people that were like oh you know you let and it's like it's there's so much more to life and and oh. happiness yeah love it yeah absolutely we love you we love you we crystal sure we do. just cheers yeah. to your life and we're so happy for your success your new move and yes. just your kids and family I'm and excited about me and all I'm I know. I, congratulations and good luck in Texas. Yeah. All yeah. And congratulations on your beautiful kids. Oh my God. They're so, so cute. So Thank I know they're you. older, so they're not just cute little babies, but they'll I, always be babies. But they're adorable <laughs> and so sweet. And like, they were very so soft-spoken and just kind of they were very good kids. I can see, and you've done a wonderful job. Yeah. And so you know what? That bed, that bed looks really big back there. You guys, we can have like all four of us spend the night with big Christmas. old slumber oh, party, slumber okay. pillow fight. No, you guys are welcome. My birthday's in November. I'm having some friends over. Come on down. We're gonna post up in the house. Mm -hmm. wow. I'm oh, serious. Send me the date. Okay. Don't I love threaten us with party. a good time. No. No. I knew. I I knew someone was gonna say that. <laughs> It's very apropos. It's well, like, so, we, as Lisa said, we've loved having you here. Are there any final words you want to say to your fans and or anything you want to promote that you have coming up? Because obviously it's September now and, you know, we have like different things going on, but anything you want to say to the fans or, or any, any cheap plugs you want to put in? Go ahead, girl. Well, cheap plug. Well, cheap plug, of course. Well, October's coming up. So for my OnlyFans, I will be doing a cosplay a cosplay theme for the entire month of October. I'm very much looking forward to that. My inner nerd is just like, oh. Ah! So check that out. I'm very excited about that. And just, you know, stay tuned to my Instagram. Life is just unfolding. I'm going to show some messy mommy parenting moments. I love being hey. transparent about that. Um, just living. Like, I enjoy life, and I hope that you do too. So Yeah. yeah. Keep awesome. it real. Yeah. 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 That deserves thank you for being Crystal, yeah. thank you That for was being beautiful. Here. Yeah. I Love hope I see your face all the time now. I'm, you know. We got to do this again. Seriously. We do. Oh, we're going to come to, we're going to, yeah, you already. <laughs> yeah, Mickey, party, we're there. Do it again. Do it again. She's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, we can do it. We can do a Zoom without <laughs> filming and stuff like that. Yes. And get crazy. Get crazy. Uh, Keep in like touch. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> extreme close-up cheers ladies thank you for being here so we love you so proud yeah. of you. love you love you, love you guys Yay. love you go, yo, go.